of the hottest show on TV right now from Empire. Brashear Gray is oh. here. Yes. <laughs> Plus, I know, I girl, yes. I can't wait. Drip, drip, okay. Plus, just in time for Memorial Day, we've drafted some fashion stars and stripes that are as patriotic as red, white, and That's you. That's a good salute. Yeah. That's a good salute. I love the troops. And later, I don't know what we were thinking, but we let the real cameras into our homes again. Oh, Lord. Yeah. This oh, God. time, we let them take a peek behind closed doors, and I cannot wait to see what y'all, you ladies, have been hiding. So, let's get this started. What's up, ladies? Okay. So, you guys, I read an interesting article uh -huh. in Cosmo that has to deal with men and their hands. Ooh, yes. Good. Like what you mean? Well, okay, so researchers at McGill University found that guys whose ring finger and uh -huh. their pointer fingers were closer in length were nicer towards women and less argumentative. So do you guys think a, a man's hands? What would it normally be? I mean, wouldn't they always be kind of even? No, 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 no. Not, not all the Wait, time. But if they were closer in length, they are nicer towards women. Did and it say anything else about length? <laughs> I'm just asking about fingers. But now you find out the gutter. Yes. Yes. I'm a do, you guys girl think, do you guys think a man's hands tells you about how they're going to treat? I a think woman. a man's hand tells a lot, okay? Yeah, because I do tell, it, Lonnie. If really? you got does. those yes. calluses on, you yes. know he's a hard worker. <laughs> That's okay, true. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of have a hand fetish. So do Me I. Too. The first thing so I notice about a man is his hands. Yeah, All day. I agree. Yeah. Well, okay, and so if his hands are real soft, what you think? I actually am not a fan of like the soft, soft. I like a man who has hardworking hands, yeah. manly yes. hands, yes. big hands. Yeah. I, I do like too, that. but not ashy though. No, yeah. it can be like that, but it can't be real ashy and hard and stuff. And another thing is, if there's dirt under the nail. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So gross. When it's ashy and hard, that, that makes me feel like you, you don't know, like to take showers. Yeah. You know who has really nice hands? Because I was watching who? Judge Mathis. He yes. has a really? nice hands. Really? Yes. They're like manicured. They like buff a little bit, and then they're like, like they're just like the right fit. Like, yeah. I like, I like when a man's <laughs> hand just kind of just. It just, it's so big yes. and, and thick, and it just yes. like wraps Lord over Jesus. your hand. Yes. <laughs> I like when girl, I think that pregnancy is mama. getting to you, girl. <laughs> hey. Yes, let the hormones take over. Won't he do it? <laughs> okay, it happens. What are the nails that you're talking about, Tamar? I'm talking guys about, you keep know, their nails long. Tell us, I don't know about this. You know, Southern dudes. I don't know if y'all ever dated a Southern guy or y'all yeah. are brothers or somebody. They got little long nails. Well, like how long? Not that long, okay. but you know, like, you know, like this? Yeah. Like, like okay. that. Ooh. That's kind of sexy. Really? Yep. Yes, God. I know pimps Ooh. used to keep their nails long. That's why I never liked it when I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I mean, I mm -hmm. used to like it, you know, but now I like a little short, square, buffed, yes. you know, yes. nice, uh, greased up hands. I had a dude, he had pterodactyl feet. You know, they just. <laughs> And I feel bad for guys because guys, it's harder for them to naturally have pretty feet. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So they so would have to do something. Yeah, really they're in so about. many heels. Right. <laughs> I disagree. Men should have really nice feet. They really feet. should. They're most of the time in extremely comfy shoes. Why not have nice feet? The one thing that I notice on a man's hand is if he has a ring on it or not. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. I mm -hmm. always notice. Do you look that. for that first? Yeah, I don't want to piss somebody off or get somebody oh, upset. Really? Yes. Uh, if they have a ring on, that I don't do it. I mean, have you guys realized that some women do out there, they get turned on by seeing a man with a ring. They have a problem. Oh. They're not gonna have to do okay. that. They do, yeah. they do. That's really so. sad though, you guys. Like if you're intentionally seeking out a man, like you're looking for the man that's married to be with, Something is wrong with you. Why do you think those those type of women do that? Well, you know, the, I think the little heifers, you know, feel yeah. like <laughs> yeah, at least the guy will commit. You know what I mean? Because yeah. or they see that well, he's taken, so he he's must taken. be doing something exactly. right. Exactly. That says the opposite message to me. If a married man is going to 
pick up on is gonna let me infiltrate his marriage, then mm -hmm. who's to say he won't do it with you too, girl? But wait, 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 I ain't go that far. Go back, back, back it. Yep. Back it up. I didn't say that, though. <laughs> okay, it, let's look, get to it. You let's said get what to they it. like is that they're saying, oh, he'll commit. Yeah, he'll commit. No, I'm and talking about them little trip. heifers who go after the married yeah. man. Yeah, that's right. I ain't talking about my man actually paying her any no. attention. No, so I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm not saying the guys yeah. take the girls up on the off. I'm talking about the girls who just who go just ahead seek out and married. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I know, but why would you seek out a married man? Because then when you get with him, and let's say he picks Pays up with, on yeah. what he gives because into. most women think he will change for, for her. Yeah. Or they or they consider it a challenge. They figure yes. he's married. Let me see if I can get this. I Girl, mean, that's all men are a challenge. Married or not, I got a challenge. Get a single challenge. <laughs> sometimes there are women out there who they'll see, you know, who your husband is, and they're like, oh, he's with her. <laughs> that makes I'm, him hotter. Yeah, that makes him hotter. Oh, I'm gonna try and get him too. See? Yeah, but you know what? It happens for men, but it also happens for women too. I yeah. mean, you you ladies wear your rings. Do you get hit on? I Absolutely. You do? Really? Yes, I still do. Really? Yes. That's because you're so pretty. Oh, oh you are beautiful. Well, like, they, no one ever so like, what do you do? What off? happened? What? Oh, that was a happened? lie. I, do you guys I, remember? I, I even hate got. Go ahead. I'm not even gonna listen to Adrian right here. What? She's trying to say over here on this side that no, she I never swear. gets hit on ring or no ring. I that swear. That is why like, all my guy friends think you're hot, Adrian. Well, have really? any of your guy friends ever come up to me and said, hey, I think you're hot? No. No, because they know, because you caught ca it out here that you're Adrian. engaged. But I no, know, as but, much as they're, as but they're saying that since I've announced my engagement that I should be getting their Just time. give it time. But you're yeah, not married yet. Yeah. Give you're it time. You're not married yet. It's, it's just interesting. engaged. But I don't get hit on. You but do? that's what I'm no, saying. No, not at all. Oh, you don't get hit on? No. no. I, will. So what so happens? Nice. I want to know what happens. What do they no, say to you? No, it's just, well, it's not really what they say, it's what they do. Ooh, tell like, me what they I do. Like, I can just, I remember I went to a, a Hollywood party, and I can remember just sitting in my little chair, you know, just by <laughs> myself, just smiling. And you know when you catch a guy across the, the room? Looking. And he was looking at me, he just was like, like flirting, and just smiling, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> And he was and like, then, you know, you just kind of do like, oh, huh, that's very sweet, but you know, like, <laughs> I'm married. He stayed looking at me, you guys. He did really? not, uh, uh, he did not. Did let he come up. over? No, he did not. But he was giving me the, <laughs> the eyes. He the was the eyes. eyes. You know the eyes. Yeah, you do know you the know eyes. The eyes. He was know. waiting for the invite. Absolutely. See? And you just kept looking like this. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> How do you like guys, if a guy was flirting with you, how do you let them know, like, it's okay to come and flirt? We give the guy a look. You don't necessarily so it is say a look. something, but it is a look. That's why the guy never came yeah, over to you. Yeah, because seriously, I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, but you know the look. Go on and give him that look when you want him to come over. Oh. <laughs> Jeannie, Memorial Day is here, and that means it's time to salute our troops and the start of summer. Whether you're hitting a barbecue, grabbing rooftop, cocktails are going for a sale, we're flagging a few looks that are USA okay. Get ready for some fashion stars and stripes that are as American as red, white, and you. <laughs> It's time to take patriotism to a whole new mm -hmm. level. Hmm. Our girl Rebecca is spending her Memorial Day on a yacht sailing the blue seas. Hey, Rebecca, what's up, girl? I'm just relaxing here and soaking up the sun. All right. Ooh. Looking lovely. Feeling well, luxurious. you look cute doing it. Come on out and let's see that outfit. to this red maxi, like a blue belt, a bold blue necklace, or a bracelet, and everyone will be saluting you. Thank yes. you, Rebecca. Yes. You look beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> that look right there is everything. everything. Yes. Now, as much as I love to dress up, the summer is the perfect chance to rock a more casual look, too, right, you guys? Yes. And I love that. So let's check out our girl, Zanae, who's serving up some style at a Memorial Day barbecue. What's up, Zanae? You staying cool over there? I'm trying. What's going on? <laughs> on Memorial Day, I love grilling, but I have to look good while doing it. Yeah, I hear I that. I heard that. I, I hear that. Right. Well, get on out here. Let me see what you're wearing, girl.
means create an ideal silhouette. Don't you say, and girl, you are giving a silhouette. All the way. Yes, she is. All the, way. <laughs> the top will balance out the tight fit of the skinny jeans, toss on some red accessories, and flaunt it for your country, girl. You are yes. doing it up for the country. Yes, you are. Grilling and chilling. That's yeah. right. Yes. And everyone will be up in your grill at that barbecue. Yes. Thank you, girl. Yes. You look amazing. She does. Thank you so much. Yes, cuteness. I'm here for both of those looks. But yeah. now for our last look, I'm going to have you earning your stripes, all right? Our girl Joya is having cocktails on a chic rooftop. Hey, Joya. Hey, girl. Hey. I'm looking good on this Memorial Day. Cheers. Yes, hey. girl. Cheers. Where's mine? Cheers to that. Now get out here and show them what you're working with. She is serving stores and stripes today, okay? Yes. yes! This adds a high fashion touch to the classic patriotic color palette. I'm enjoying this outfit. Yes. I, can't, I can't even read, really, because this thing is <laughs> killing me softly. Yeah. And if you want to go for the more classic look, swap out those red heels with a neutral pair, and you still in the game, won't he yes. do it? Yes! I love it. She wasn't afraid to mix the stripes. I yes. Thick stripes and thin stripes. That looks so hot. Kill guys look beautiful. Yes, you do. Oh. really do. So, in West Philadelphia, born and raised, <laughs> but on a stage is where he spent most of his days, honey. You like that? That was cute, right? <laughs> now, our next guest is a young hip-hop artist starring in one of the biggest shows around. From Empire, give it up for Brashear Gray! <laughs> Legendary heel, darling. Oh, yeah. good, 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 good. Give, it Give it a good spin. Let's see what happens. Put your back into it. Told yes. uh -huh. was. was telling a girl that I love her. <gasps> oh! What? And you what? did not? And I didn't. Well, why you tell her? What? I mean, it was she was pretty, you know? She was like... What? She, but then... No, but that, that was young, yes, growing, growing up. Okay. But you have to deal with so many responsibilities once you say that. You do, you do. And I learned <laughs> that, because I almost got another broom against my head. <laughs> 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 Okay, now, really? Michelle, before, before Empire, you were creating, like, a major, major buzz in the rap game in Philly, Honey Bunches of Oats. Philly. Like, did y'all know he was a rapper in For Real Life? His name yeah. is Yak yeah, the Greatest, yeah. honey. Now, what sets you apart from other rappers? Well, yes, yeah, you know, he's, you know, he makes music about inspiring things. Yeah. Hakeem is a kid that's growing up, has a silver spoon in his mouth. So, of course, we rap about two different things. Okay. It seems like your life did a complete 180 after Empire. Yeah. So what did you do when you found out that you booked the role of Hakeem? Well, I called my mom and I was so hyped. She was like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you know, so she made everything great and uh, she's my main supporter. Aww. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, that's wow. great. She wow. must be so proud of you. Yeah. She is. I love you, mom. Does she watch Aww. every episode? She does. She does. And, uh, my grandmom is Team Cookie all day. Really? Okay. Oh. Oh. Hold up, hold up. Where the, where the Team Cookie fans at? Right. Oh. Okay. Don't get your life twisted. Where well. the Team Lucius at? <laughs> Everybody mad at Lucius right now. Wow. Well, it's no secret that your character, Hakeem, has a thing for older women. Yeah. How you doing? But, uh, <laughs> now that she Don't look at her in the eye. Don't look in the eye. Are yes. you all about that cougar life? You know, Lonnie really <laughs> wants to know. Yes. I mean, listen, I mean, I, I prefer 18 and up, but, you know, it is what it is. Well, how old are you, Pumpkin? I'm 21. Oh, Ooh. Oh, so I'm you, what you get? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How much older would you go? Uh, at least uh, 100. You know? What? Come on. <laughs> it's, like, no, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's okay. a joke. Okay. <laughs> I don't think physically she could stick up to me. Oh, okay. Okay. At 100, yeah, but, she might um, be having but struggle. 50 years old. 
50. Okay, that's the oldest you go. That can well, go. well, There's well, some well. hot 50-year-olds out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I ain't 50. How, yeah, you know, you know what it is? Okay. No, you get your run right. for your money, okay? Be careful with the old ones. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Lonnie, be good. Okay. Be good. Okay. okay. All right, as the breakout <laughs> hit of 2015, Empire has blown up network yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's great, you know, for me starting out my acting career right now. Yes. And I'm around so much good company. Yes. Oscar nominated, Tony, yes. winners, and I'm honored, you know, I'm honored. And are you enjoying Empire? Yes. Yeah. What's made your character Hakeem and the show so likable? You know, I mean, I don't think a lot of people like Hakeem, uh, but. <laughs> I think the show, you know, is resonating with people's lives. You know, the storyline, you can connect with each character. Mm -hmm. If it's not Cookie, if it's Boo Boo Kitty, if mm -hmm. it's Lucius, you can connect with somebody. So I think that's why it's mm. resonating, yeah. Wow. Well, yes, I can't get enough of Drip Drop and that whole... <laughs> wow, you like that? Break down Seriously, here. it is hot. Yes. So Thank what you. is like, like wow. working with Timberland in the studio? Well, Timberland, he's a mega, yes. mega producer. Yes. You know, he's worked with... Michael Jackson yes. from Pharrell, and now he's also working with me, so wow. it's great. You feel good. Oh. Amazing. So cool. so major. We're here with Bashir Gray from Fox's Ooh. Empire. Yeah. While you're on top, there's always somebody trying to take you down. In today's game, just like the show, we're gonna have you defend the Lion Empire, all right? Yeah. We're gonna break into two teams, place 30 seconds on the clock and have each team take turns tossing bean bags through the five holes in our real lion while the other team plays defense. In the end, the team who gets the most bean bags through the lion's head wins. Let's play <laughs> Rule the Empire! We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, I'll be the bean bag counter calling the shots and Tamara be the ref since she's pregnant, all right? All right, I'm good. <laughs> now, yeah. You're yeah. known for battling brothers on the show. But yeah. how do you feel about battling some sisters today? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, hey, y'all ready for a love? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 She don't lose. Yeah, All right, yes. Let's make this a fair fight. Everyone shake hands. No, shake hands. I want to shake hands. Come on. We ain't friends. Get into <laughs> position. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. I don't know you, go. I don't know you. Let's, ready. Let's go. Okay, All well, right. I hope you're ready to play dirty because you might as well call me Tamar Cookie Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was born ready for this. Ain't nobody taking down my empire. Okay. We'll Put see your bean bag All right, team. Fun. 30 seconds starts on the whistle, okay? okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Are you lose. two ready to defend? Always. I'm always, always ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one.
vampire around here on the real, okay? Now let's face it, we've all been caught creeping in the middle of the night when that special craving comes along and it can only be satisfied in one place. Where? Come on, people, I'm talking about your kitchen cabinets. Ow. You know, the time of the midnight snack. Yes, yes. yes. all the time. Okay, well, we wanted to see what's hiding in each other's kitchen. So ladies, it's time to show what's in your cabinets. get to share our home life with all of you guys, so this is gonna be very interesting. Here's what happened when we let the real cameras behind the scenes and into our kitchens. Take a look. Okay, this is my cabinet, and I'm trying to get healthier. So I brought fruit. Yes, I did. I'm so proud of myself. Look at all this beautiful fruit. Okay, let me be honest, because this is the real. I'm gonna get real. I did keep... you know, a few items. If you came to my pantry, you came to see her chip collection, all right? This is my favorite snack cupboard in the house. So I've got, you know, healthy pretzel sticks for Freddy, but for me, I've got like, I love chocolate covered sunflower seeds and I usually make a trail mix. Voila, we've got nothing going on. That's pretty much what we have going on. Check out my favorite cabinet. A couple of sweets, I mean, just salt and vinegar. The original creation from God's Kitchen? My favorite snack. I don't need boiling water, guys. All I need is my girl power. I manhandle it like this, find the little magic sauce, and just make it rain. Chicharrones, there's nothing like it. If you've got nothing else in my house, this is a meal right here, folks. This is just a few items, okay? This is just few. Uh, don't judge me. Mmm. It's so good. We've got really nothing going on in my cabinet, but we've got a lot going on with my delivery game. Hey, boo, hey! I'm thirsty now. A lot of my girlfriends and I call wine mama juice. It's what keeps us moms sane. See you later. Have you ever had a fruit smoothie with cupcakes? Have you? Well, we gonna do it today. This is the real. You just been in my get out of my cabinet. Lonnie, well, who would think to camouflage their junk food with bowls of fruit? Because sometimes I feel like an apple, sometimes I don't, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, hold up, Tamar. Yes. Seriously, what was with all those chips? It literally looks like a grocery aisle. And you, you organize so them. Much. Very organized. Well, you know, I'm very organized. Yes. Well, I am addicted to potato chips, and yes. I'm very proud, okay? So leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I want to raid that cabinet. Me too. Yeah. Now I want chips. Now oh, you Lord. see why Logan always says chips? Yes. It's like it's always He's there. creeping in that cabinet. Yes, and I saw God. you put them on the higher aisle, too, so you can't, like, reach it yet. Oh, he knows how to get it now. Now he steps on the thing and grabs it down. <laughs> so he gets to him. Yeah. No, Adrian, the bigger question is, where was your food? Yeah. Um, I order out. Pizza arrived. Don't, don't hate. It was lobster pizza. I thought it was very fancy. Really? <laughs> lobster <laughs> pizza? Yeah. I want that, too. It's oh, really God. good. <laughs> okay, really honestly, really though, you guys, it's clear where the turn up is. Tamara, now Hello. that you're pregnant, where are you going to put all that wine? Because, you know, we got four cabinets here. We can take care of that for you. I know. I'm saving it. <laughs> I'm saving All it right. for a rainy day. <laughs> we'll pop the cork with a baby But I told y'all I know how to turn up. <laughs> so y'all saw my family, yes. It is so obvious, yes. my good friend. <laughs> Welcome back. Here on The Real, you know we love to shake our groove thing. Yes. And now it's time for you to join us. That's right, it's time to get up and sweat it out for a good old impromptu dance-off. <laughs> dance move, and if you feel the spotlight on you, step on out and break it down. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's find our first dancer. Yeah. All right, you, my fine man, I want to see you. I'm thinking my life. Hop and lock it. I think it's my Give whole it life. Us.
show us how you do the Roger Rabbit. Okay, <laughs> we're keeping going. Our next spotlight dancer 